What's up everyone, my name is Shadi and I am a coding bootcamp graduate and I have been working as a software engineer for the past year and a half or so and I'm also a mentor at the bootcamp that I graduated from, Lighthouse Labs, and I wanted to make a quick video answering one of the most common questions I get from the students I mentor, which is what should I be working on after bootcamp to help me get my first job? And after working in the industry for a while now and having the chance to talk with the people who are actually in charge of hiring for these roles and hearing about what they look for in juniors specifically. I wanted to share two things that myself along with these people that I've chatted with think are really, really important and worthy of your time during your job search because these are things I have personally had a lot of success with and that I think can really help you out as they will really impress companies and help you stand out from everyone else, including computer science graduates. All right, so the first thing is a personal portfolio website. When you graduate bootcamp, you have absolutely no professional programming experience, which is totally fine and employers know that. So at this stage, it's really important to find other ways to just separate yourself from everyone else. And I honestly think that one to two applicants for each job have a personal portfolio website. It's not an official statistic or anything, but based on what I have seen and heard, I think it's pretty accurate. And a lot of job applications will actually have the option to insert the link to your personal website for them to check out. And trust me, most people are not putting anything in this field. So this is an amazing way to make yourself stand out. And you can also put a link to your website right inside of your resume so that when you send it to anyone or anyone opens it up, they can easily go to it directly from your resume. And I've talked to recruiters that said this is really impressive to see on a resume, especially for juniors. There are honestly multiple benefits in creating a personal website, but I think the two most important under this context are A, it in itself is a programming project that will keep you coding, keep you building your skills and reinforcing everything you have learned in bootcamp. And B, it shows that you're actually willing to do things that you don't necessarily have to do and that you're willing to go the extra mile, which is something that is incredibly desired by companies. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of the employer. Wouldn't you be impressed by someone who actually spent a large portion of their free time working on something that they didn't really have to? Beyond just sheer skill, passion and work ethic are things that employers really care about, especially in tech. And having a personal portfolio website really demonstrates both of those things because it's passion and work ethic that lead you to do things that others will not. And you don't have to go crazy or overcomplicate it. You don't have to spend an insane amount of time. You can just spend anywhere from like three days to two weeks on it, as long as you have something. But give it a clean design, use the internet for inspiration. Pinterest is great for this. I personally use Pinterest for a lot of my projects. And just make something that you're actually proud of, showcases who you are, and honestly, just have fun with it. Me personally, I love music. So I designed my website based on Spotify. And this has honestly sparked so many interesting conversations and interviews. And it's these unconventional conversations that really leave a lasting impression. And trust me, I know a personal website is a daunting task at first, and it can be really overwhelming. But once you start, it's actually a lot of fun. You will learn a ton and this will put you a lot further ahead than everyone else. All right, number two is building projects that you are genuinely interested in. I see a lot of people building things like Twitter clones and YouTube clones which are all really cool and can be good learning experiences, but in my opinion are weak portfolio projects because they don't really allow room for creative thinking, which is something again that companies highly, highly value. Without professional programming experience, your projects are hands down your biggest asset and the project section of your resume is likely where recruiters and hiring managers are gonna spend most of their time looking because they know you don't have that professional experience. And although you may have built a bunch of projects during bootcamp, a lot of other people are going to have these same or similar projects to you. And so I think it's really important to build something that's unique to you and offer some originality. And I think the best place to find these types of ideas are by exploring your own personal interests rather than just like following some trend. Do you make music? Build an app where you can connect with other musicians and post your work to get community feedback. Are you into fitness? Build a workout tracking app with some functionality that you think is missing from other apps. And when you have the opportunity to talk about one of these projects for yourself, your passion is going to be very clear and employers love to see that. And you don't have to build the next Uber or the next Netflix or solve some massive world problem or get like 100 million users. You just have to build something that you think is cool, challenges you and would be excited to talk about. For me personally, I love tutoring and teaching and I was a tutor in university. So right after bootcamp, I started working on a chat and tutoring application for university students called the UniChat. And even though it's not that complicated of a project, companies were really interested in hearing the story about why I was building it and why I was interested in it and how it aligned with who I was as a person. And these types of projects are so valuable and employers love to see them because they don't only demonstrate your programming abilities, but they also show that you have strong problem solving skills and creative thinking, which is something that they really look for. And ultimately that's what they're hiring to do. And these don't have to go like way beyond what you're actually capable of, 
but do make them challenging enough and build features that do ensure that you are growing and learning as an engineer. And honestly, some of the most valuable learnings I have gained as a programmer have been just working on projects that I find interesting and just exploring technologies that I'm interested in or things that I haven't used before. And it's something that a lot of other candidates are not doing. So I highly recommend you to just work on things that you find genuinely interesting. All right, I wanna keep this short and simple, but yes, those two things that I talked about are extremely 100% worth your time and that has been validated by people actually in the industry. It's 100% possible for you to land a job. It's just really important for you to separate yourself and showcase who you are as a person and what makes you different from everyone else. I know it can be tough when you're job searching to want to spend your time on anything other than actual like applying for jobs, but it's so important to keep coding, keep building your skills and just work on things that genuinely interest you. And trust me, it's going to pay off. It is worth it. And it's really cool having your own website and just putting all your work on there. And you can use your site for things later down the line as well. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's just sort of my advice, um, something I've learned from working in the industry for a while. If you have any questions about me, about boot camp, about jobs, about anything, leave a comment down below. I would absolutely love to chat. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.